welcome back. I've got another video for you tonight. I've done something a little bit different. I have hooked up a sprinkler SGD box to the sprinkler input on this fire panel. If we open it up now and silence the alarms, you'll see on the side here there is a sprinkler light that activates when the sprinkler goes off. And we'll go down to the sprinkler box. I'm also with the last team standing. Hello. And he's going to help me demonstrate this. So how this box works is it normally sits on a fire alarm system. There are two pressure switches. This is defect and this one is fire. So when the pressure in a sprinkler system drops below a certain rate, the defect will go off and then the fire. So I'll get you to hold in the uh, two switches. So this would be their normal position. And you'll see that this SGD here is reading normal. And if we take off the isolate, the other one, the other one, that one. <laughs> and first let go of the defect defect switch and you'll see this going to defect there we go it's in defect and now let go of the fire and you'll see it is in fire and the panel just went into alarm and up here the sprinkler light has gone off indicating that the sprinkler system is in fire if you isolate the uh, or press on the fire pressure switch, it should reset. You can see it's a non-latching alarm, so as soon as that box down there resets, the whole system resets. In the coming days, I will be hooking up a demonstration sprinkler system. I think that's something that I've never seen a YouTuber do before, and I think that's quite a good idea. I'll just have one sprinkler in a shed for like a demonstration. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see and we can expand into the sprinkler field. Thanks for watching and see you next time.